All right, music fans, welcome back to another exciting edition of As the Journey Turns, brought to you by me, the Real Music Observer, and um, of course, doing these videos in real time for a handful of real people out there, just like you and just like me. So As the Journey Turns continues, and uh, you know, when you share a video on a certain social media platform, you you probably want to be careful what what you're sharing when you're in the middle of a case. I, I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I mean, you can do what you want to do. But um, anyway, a video popped up over on X and I'm going to share it. I shared this video when it came out. I thought it was pretty funny at the time. I wasn't sure as far as who was guilty of what but now i'm i'm kind of feeling a little bit more confident that um well let's just play this video and then uh, i will react to it uh here it is um this is neil and dean i believe at the airport yo bro hey brother, what's up? how you doing man I'm doing good, bro. Good day, man. i just want to show you yes. You've been so great, man. And I'm so proud of your sobriety. You and I have been sober forever. Yep. That I... You and I have been sober forever. Hmm. Okay, let me continue to roll this. I bought this whole fleet of jets. I put it on the new Nomoda corporate. Ooh. And as you notice, we have an N4, mm -hmm. 43 QS. Yes. We have an N67. Yes. 72 QS. Okay. We have an N507 Q5. Oh. We have an N775 QS. And we have an N652 QS. Okay. So, so this video came out in 2023. And at the time, the boys were fighting. Now, it's funny because it's only maybe. 14, 15 months after that incident, and we're back to where we were before. Um, there are the Jets. Of course, they're saying that they have all these corporate Jets, and they're they're kind of spoofing, kind of goofing around, and you'll see the ending here. If you haven't seen this video, um, it's just been reposted over on X. So, there you have it, bro. So just this, which one would oh, you, you like? Okay, I want the uh, M67. I like 1967. It's a great year for cars. 1967. I'm sure John won't mind. Will you, John? It's All right. So there you go. I, I'm pretty sure John won't mind that we're, we're taking the, the private jet uh, again and again. Uh, look, this isn't really funny anymore. It was funny, you know, 15 months ago. And so you're in the middle of a case, right? So why would you go ahead and um, do this in the middle of a case? I'm just I'm just a little baffled by that. But like the jury's probably not going to see this, and all they're trying to do is get a mediator here. But he's basically telling everybody, "Look, uh, I'm so confident in all of what I've been saying, which is um, there's nothing to see here." that I'm just going to repost this video with me and Dean. Now, Dean has nothing to do with this. Just to be clear, Dean is just along for the ride. I feel bad for everybody who's kind of just in the middle here. Dean is certainly a guy who's in the middle. Arnell is in the middle. Uh, Jason, all these guys, uh, Todd, they joined this band thinking, hey, Journey, this is going to be a great thing for my life and my career and Turns out that maybe it's not so great after all. Uh, you know, the sad part of all of this stuff is there's there's no humility uh, when it comes to just saying, you know what, maybe I should kind of, you know, dial back some of the craziness here. Maybe I have been a little bit too um, excessive with the spending. And there's no admission to that. It's BS or it's, he says it's it's either BS or um, what's it to you was another response. Why do you care? All right. Um, well, 
I've been a fan of this band. And, you know, when you when you are a fan this long and you've purchased tickets and purchased albums, it's almost like you're a stockholder. You're an investor. You've been investing in this corporation for decades. Um, people follow this band. I've got a couple of journey junkies that uh, go all over the place and they see this band in concert. I had one of them tell me the other day that Def Leppard was was better than they were and they're a journey junkie they've been uh doing this for a very long time they're starting to get a little bit tired of it and so reposting this at this time when it appears that the band might be about to you know it, it, look here's the thing it's probably not going to end the way i think it's going to end but at some point one of these guys is going to break whether it's john or neil one of these guys is just going to say it's not worth it anymore. That's that's what I'm thinking. And not to mention that you need a supporting cast. And who's to say you don't get a full mutiny? I mean, Arnell doesn't need to do this anymore. He's made enough money. He's got a name for himself. He could always tour under the, the banner of former Journey vocalist, longest tenured vocalist with Journey, Arnell Pineda. Sings the music of Journey and other songs. I mean, I can just see, um, you know, Irving Azoff would probably get him some gigs and uh, do some great promotions for him. And he could go out there with like a full orchestra or something, or he could go out with a ragtag bunch of former Journey people. <laughs> he could do that. <laughs> there are a few former Journey people out there. You could probably put together a decent band and uh, you could give, you know, the the mother ship or whatever you want to call it, a run for its its money, uh, or just distance yourself and say, you know what, I don't want to have anything to do with Journey anymore, and I'm going to sing all these other songs instead. Maybe do one Journey song. But the bottom line is that people don't need this anymore. The fans, I don't think, really need this anymore. I know there are fans out there that are going to say, what are you? Yeah, I already suggested in the last video. Why does this need to continue in this like lousy sort of half-baked way? Why can't it just end dignified? Well, it can't because that would have been like something that should have happened years ago, but it could have, you know, a finality to it where, yeah, we're going to do a few more gigs and then I think we need to stop because you know, for whatever reason, um, you you can't do this crazy rock star lifestyle and expect that that's not going to, you know, hurt the organization. And if it's not true, I'm I'm willing to listen to how this is not true. Either the credit cards were maxed out, either, you know, there were agreements that were made um, that you were supposed to adhere to, or there weren't or you're not violating those agreements. I, Again, I mean, one of these two things uh, can't be true. And so I don't know if it's a good idea to go out there and repost this video with Dean and you saying, which private jet should we take? I mean, this just feeds into, you know, I'm sure John won't mind. Well, John does mind, obviously, and this is why uh, you're in the predicament that you're in. So anyway... All that to say, uh, as the journey turns, continues. And uh, it's a story that uh, will have probably many more episodes. Um, here's some great music to listen to while you're contemplating the end of journey and maybe really the end of the United States as we know it. Who knows? Uh, this is Jerry Beckley. Here he is, the guy from America, the band, uh, not the country, but technically the country and the band. And uh, this is his latest effort, which... Um, quite honestly, is as good as anything that America has done. Um, super well produced, great songs, great songwriting, great musicianship, all of the things that you would want in a good album um, and a familiar voice uh, to boot. So there you have it, folks. Uh, another video in the can, another episode of As the Journey Turns. Uh, we'll be back with more episodes as needed.